Let's do an example where we try calculating moments of inertia for different objects. Let's imagine we have three sets of barbells with weights on the end, and they're separated from the axis of rotation by different amounts. In case A, I have two one kilogram masses one meter away from the axis of rotation. In case B, I have two two kilogram masses one meter away. And in case C, I have two two kilogram masses, but they're each two meters away. To calculate moments of inertia, I have to remember that I equals MR squared, and I have to sum that up for all the different M's that are out there. So if I imagine each of these blocks is just point masses, then the moment of inertia, for example, for object A would be for one object, one kilogram times one meter squared, but there's two of them, so I have to add two of those together, one kilogram times one meter squared, and the total moment of inertia of that system is two kilogram meter squared. So notice this is a compound unit. I invite you to go through the same calculation for the other two objects here. The object B will have a moment of inertia of 4 kilogram meter squared, and object C will have 16 kilogram meter squared as a moment of inertia. So the ratio of these, uh, A to B to C, is 2 to 4 to 16, or 1 to 2 to 8. And so the correct answer amongst our uh, five choices is answer C.